Hey, 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 my name is Paul Stinks. Welcome to Sakura Magical Girls. Let's see what is going to happen the next day. So, you can hear you have met me on another cruise today. They figured that they weren't a break given everything that has happened lately. Not that I'm complaining. After yesterday's training session, I was really strung out. Imagine being here at the beach and not actually enjoying it as well. As I amused myself, I see someone walk up to me. Hey, do I know you? It takes me a moment to realize he's the manager. He's lost a lot of weight. I barely recognize him. Hey, Taichi! He puts something in my hand. Here is your paycheck. You've been doing great out there. Just make sure you keep up the good work. As he walks off, a sense of guilt settles over me. I haven't done any cleaning in ages, <laughs> but I'm still collecting checks for it. Ah. Hey Taiji, what have you got there? Hey you too, <laughs> it's a paycheck. <laughs> Aren't you lucky? <laughs> I know what you're referring to. <laughs> Sounds like good timing. Uh oh, shouldn't have said about the paycheck. Are sure? Okay, so we are not really lucky. Are sure that it was the right thing to do to the manager? What do you mean? He's fun turning his life around. Did you know how bad his diet was? Yeah, his arteries were only moments away from being completely clogged. I know he wasn't good help, but something about this just doesn't sit right with me. What did you do to him anyway? A suggestion which made him see us as his employees and want to make sure that you had plenty of time off work. You just reminded him of the love in his own heart. What do you mean? You might not realize it, but someone like that carries out of pain too. You are scalped by what they experience. We'll not tell you the details, but he's in a better place than he's been in a long time. <laughs> that sounds like he's dead. I guess even the manager deserves a shot at redemption. I guess it's not really my business to know. Shall we get going then? Let's. I mean, let's. Another cruise would be excellent. Simply sailing along the ocean's gentle waves. It's really relaxing. You sometimes end up with people you can't stand being around, but at least you can move away from them. I was want to ask you too. Do you cast some sort of spell to change your appearance to other people? Yeah. Yes. Yep. As much as like this uniform is better to attract unnecessary attention. So, what do you look like then? Students. It's a nice, simple disguise. And you can go just about anywhere and no one will be suspicious of you. What sort of place have you been going where people will find you suspicious? That's a secret. <laughs> okay, I love her when she does that expression. That's a bit worrying. I won't pry then. It's amazing how much you've mellowed out. You did say this before, right? Yeah, you did. A certain forest pride told me a lot about patience. I just hope that she isn't still upset about oof, after what happened yesterday. Trying to learn magic has been a really hard thing to do. I can just wave my fists at it and shout angrily to get what I want. How often have you done that? M maybe a bit more than I would care to admit. Just how bad were you in school, Taiji? Probably one of the worst. I don't believe in taking any garbage from anyone, but I think that I have to learn that I can't just snap at people every time something doesn't go my way. Exactly! I'm glad that you come to terms with your own shortcomings. It's not an easy thing to do. Have you two gone through similar things? When we went through our training, yes. Spirit of purpose and keeping clear heart are essential for magical girls. We cannot allow negative emotions to keep us down. And we both had our share of those when we first trained under our master. That's right. 
Something like magic, especially magic that originates from the purity of one's heart, is not an easy thing to learn. This world leaves stains on the soul, blotches of darkness, but with enough will, such things can be overcome. And that's what you're doing now, Kate uh, Taiji. Oh, that is a Kaiji. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah. It's really a heavy subject to talk about, though. I can't help but spare effort for Aime. Was she unable to overcome her own inner dread demons? Is that why she failed? Taiji, what's wrong? Eh? Was I doing something weird? Sometimes get this throw on your face. As if you're troubled by something. No, 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 I'm fine, you two. Don't worry about me. That just makes me more worried, Taiji. She lightly bonks beyond the head with her wand. I must agree with Yuki here. You are troubled by something. I can sense the strings of doubt in your heart. You can share troubles with us, Taiji. Well, are you certain that I am as irredeemable? The two of them look at me. She's been talking to you lately, hasn't she? Yeah. I think I should be honest with them. You remember when you found me in the basement with her? And you felt that huge search of evil? Yep. And? I actually tried chanting myself. When you took aim, she took the blame deliberately. I'm sorry that I didn't say anything earlier. <sighs> it's a feeble apology. The two of them just look at me. So, you actually used evil? Yeah, I haven't done it since. But that was my fault, not hers. Well, of course I'm a little upset. But you aren't a bad person, I know that for sure, Taiji. I do agree with this. Obviously, my putting evil energies like that aren't going to be good for you. But in spite of that, you're still yourself. Why did Ayama take the lane for that for? I was wondering about that too. She said that she was having fun with the way things were. Call me optimistic, but I don't think she's completely giving up uh, on love. Or caring about others. What sort of person was she before she failed the test? Come on! Spill the beans! She was really sweet! I knew it! And she still is! Yeah, very! I think she was someone who wore her heart on her sleeve. But perhaps she become too cynical by the time she came to the test. Uh, so, do you think she puts on that anchoring front to protect herself? Maybe. I found it really surprising when we met her again after the test. Hmm. We really should have thought about it more. Someone can just completely forget about love. The two didn't stand there with long looks on their faces. Sorry, I didn't mean to darken the mood. But I just always get my doubts about that. No, 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 you're right, Taiji. We, we thought the reason she must have failed was because she chose to reject our master's teachings. But what if something else happened? This doesn't change the fact that she's manipulating evil, but there must be some small remnant love in her heart. And perhaps you're the one who can bring it out, Taiji. I don't know if I can, but I will try, but I don't want to leave this resort without knowing how she really thinks underneath that persona she wears. Anyway, let's not worry about it for now. We should enjoy the cruise. I think that would be good. Yep, we can mo talk more about it later. I think I'll go spend some time on the upper decks. Mm. I'll happy to stay on this one. The two of them must have a lot to think about. So I might just let them go. Sure, go ahead. I'll catch up with you two before the cruise is over. No problem, Taichi. See you soon. As the two of them disappear, I feel a bit... A little bit... God damn it, I feel a little bit of relief. They know about the negative karma channeling. That was an important step. But I've managed to get it through to them that I might not be as irredeemable as she seems. Huh. It's not something I would want to I want to admit, but I feel like something is about to go very, very wrong. 
I can't quite put my finger on it, what it is for. Maybe whatever is gathering the negative energy is about to awaken. I hope not. But our efforts have... Uh, sorry, here don't seem to be achieving kind of anything. The monsters that keep appearing seem to be endless. I know a lot about magic yet, but... There is only one thing that I cannot conclude. Whatever is putting that energy here is doing that at the rate that we can't compete with. I know what impact I am explaining is having, but it doesn't seem to be helping enough. You can hear told me that if too much gathered in one place, it would result in a complete disaster. So, somehow I think that we have to do something about this source. Unless we take it out soon, I think it will be too late. I look down at my wounds. Since I told the both of them the truth, I've noticed that something about it has changed. Rather than that purple color it had before, it has an almost silver tint to its wood. I'm not really sure what it, what that is supposed to mean. Every time I do something or something about me changes, so too does the one change to reflect that. A reflection to myself, of myself, huh? So what sort of state is my heart in? As I spend time with those three, I've gotten attached to them? No, that can be it. I think I actually might like them a bit more than that. They do grow on you after a while, I guess. Anyway, I think I'll spend a little bit more time relaxing before I propose the plan to them. The beach would be great for today. But first, maybe I should go do something else. Enjoy the spa or try to go to, down to the basement. Alright, so enjoy the spa would mean you would laze around. Try to go down to the basement. Just a moment ago, he was kind of feeling bad because uh, he didn't do any job. So maybe going to the basement would mean for us cleaning the area. Let's go there. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't be relaxing at the moment. After all, if there's really something about to happen, then I need to make sure I'm on par. It probably isn't the smartest idea, but I'm feeling confident enough in my abilities to try my luck in the basement. The slimes I was counting the forest were only weak ones. So maybe it's time to start training somewhere a bit tougher. I'm not going to get better if I just keep running around in that enchanted forest. And I kind of don't want to go back there for a while. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I kind of didn't predict what might be the actual, actual outcome. This is not basement, this is a parking lot. Damn it. Although I felt so confident over the ground. Actually being down here gives me a completely different feeling. Whatever is gathering down here is unbelievably powerful. I can't help but break out into a nervous sweat. Since Ayama taught me how to manipulate negative karma, I can actually feel it flowing through the halls. And it sends shivers down my spine. Alright, I'll just find a weaker monster, take it out and leave. If I can do that, then I can say for sure that my trainee is coming along. Step by step I move deeper in the basement. Just take it nice and slow. And do what? Here! She appears out from over. What are you doing here, Taiji? I was going to do some training. See? Well, I like you on your word. Were you feeling up to taking on some of the stronger creatures? That's right. My magic's pretty strong now. So. Oh, really? You should show me. What's your strongest spell? When she puts me on the spot like that. Well, I don't really have the strongest yet. Then maybe you should put it off today. The basement is a dangerous place, even for magical girls as experienced as two of us. Right. How about we put it off for today and spend some time at the beach together? Yes. That would be nice. As we head back to the beach, a question surfaced in the back of my mind. 
Hikari seemed to talk about a certain regret of hers a lot, but she never really told me what it was. I think I have the courage to ask her now. Hikari! What is that you run away from? Eh? I suppose I can tell you now. The truth was that I'm the heir to a certain corporation. Eh? Wait, what? That isn't what I expect. I was expecting at all. So, what you wanted was to get away from that life? More or less, yes. It was a tiring burden to bear. The expectations waving on me. They were great, to say the least. What I wanted was an excuse to go on a grand adventure. Or just find a way to get out of that life. My parents, they weren't exactly the most attentive. You know how it must be in corporate family. I can imagine. No free time at all. So, when I was offered this opportunity, I took it. Do, do your parents know where you are? No, but I didn't just leave without telling them. I regularly send them letters to Lydia, no, I'm fine. Well, it's good that they know that you're okay, at least. Yeah, but they haven't stopped looking for me since. I need to see them again one day. That's an inevitability. I enjoy being magical girl and feeling the love in my heart. The warmth, yeah, the warmth was the thing that was always missing from my life. So, even if I, uh, I have to meet them, I won't ever go back to that. What do you feel, Taiji? Am I being irresponsible? I mean, kind of, maybe. But if you don't feel like taking over the business after your parents, the you know. People might, I mean, people here, Hikari here, might feel she's not up to that challenge, right? That she can't really run and get a company herself. So, I mean, I bet there are a lot of people out there with a situation like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them felt like they need to run away from it. Or they just weren't interested in doing so. Because they have other interests, right? And spending your whole life working. Hell no, I never agreed to that. But I don't think that I have to accept my role in all this. You don't have to accept anything. If you have a chance to change your life and escape from the things which made you unhappy, then why not take it? If you just keep accepting it when people trust these things on you, then you're just going to be miserable. Yeah, that's a fair point. I know that this is rather sudden to tell you as well. So, thank you for listening to me. It's fine, you listen to me too. So it's only fair, right? You know, you keep calling yourself a delinquent, but you never really struck me as one in the first place. Okay, even when I was yelling at you to leave me alone? That's not exactly surprising since you were so shocked. Fair point. You have a defiant streak. But you have a fine personality underneath it! Okay, stop it! <laughs> You're embarrassing me here! She just laughs. On another note, Tai Chi! I have a surprise for you! I'm interested. What is it? Close your eyes! Okay. And don't open them until I tell you! Hey, I need a freaking because I can't really close my eyes because I don't see the text, so I will cover the screen with a piece of paper and I will only see what's written. Well, okay. Okay, you plug into the screen, got it. Just a minute. A little longer. I hear the sound of what I think is a belt. Uh-oh. Are we going to be beaten? Okay. You can open it now. Achieve my long destroyer of sorrow. <laughs> wow. Okay, I I would not expect that she was into that. When I opened them I see What you can see. It looks like some sort of bondage outfit. 
but with a distinctly magical girl look to it. Thick leather straps and buckles were wrapped around her entire body, squeezing it in all of their places. Her voluptuous body is practically bursting out of the outfit. When I look at her chest, it pushes against a man two straps, dangerously close to breaking free. With the angle she's laying at, I'm getting a great show of underboob too. Underboob is great. Two straps dig into the sides of her hips, making them stand out even more than before. I'm just a bit gobsmacked from the whole thing. She seems to notice my stare. So, what do you think? Does it stimulate your imagination? Yeah. Now where did she buy something like this? I have a bit of an office trick, how to have you know. It, it's something else. She smiles. I'm glad you like it. It took me a lot of work to get it, looking just the right way. You made this outfit? That's right. I have quite an active imagination when I want to. And a little bit of magic can I make all sorts of things happen. All sorts of things? You know it. Let your imagination run wild, Taiji. I hardly need to use my imagination with this outfit. <laughs> if it were any tighter, it would probably be torn to pieces by her body. You know, people can see right now, but they can see me. Uh, what? So you better not lose your composure. She puts a finger up to her lips to indicate silence. Really? I better not throw, try to overwrap them. Bet. If you are a guy and there's a magical girl, she can put a freaking invisibility uh, magic on herself, and you can do that too, but not to each other. Oh my god! You can run wild in the public! <laughs> okay, but it's so hard when she's just laying on the sound like that. So, Taiji, what would you say is your greatest fantasy? Fantasy? Yeah, you know exactly the kind of fantasy we're talking about. I can't say something like that here. Well, you will have to tell me sooner or later. Not today, for definitely not today. But okay, she certainly is being forward with this outfit. It's obvious where all of this is going. So now is finally the time. We need to deal with whatever is underneath the resort. And I've called you again, Hikari here. Now that we're all gathered together, it's time to talk this out. Okay, I think we are closing. Uh, closing. We are close to the ending. Uh, I think you know why we're here. If I've managed to pick up the, on the problem, then I can't be the only one. These things are still coming. And we've destroyed how many of them so far? Hundreds. Maybe thousands. Wouldn't the job normally be done by now? Yep. That's right! And I think that community evil, evil is, here isn't dispersing. Exactly. We're going to have to deal with it at its horrors. That's the only solution I can think of. I'm afraid that this is true! I know we have to do. What do we have to do? How about we become a magician that uses both love and evil? But evil for the good cause. That would be us. He, 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 Kari and Yuki would hate me for that. <laughs> the rate at which evil energy is gathering at this place is accelerating. We are already overwhelmed. So, we have to go into the basement and fight whatever it is down there that is causing this. At this point, I'm convinced that it isn't Adam. She isn't that this powerful. Something else is down there. Maybe some sort of super slime. Super slime. Like super science slime? Super slime, what? Well, whatever it is, we have to destroy it. Chances are that it's going to reach a point where it will be too strong for us. I agree. 
I'm just back down, it's going to be another disaster. Do you think that you're ready to go down to basement for Taichi? Well, even if I'm not, we can't afford to waste it. Very well. We'll need to plan this carefully. Yes. The basement is where the evil energy is most prominent. But I'm sure the power of love will be able to cut through its darkness. I'm sure too. And we have a rock wizard on our side too. Both of them look at me. Hey, eh? What? Well, I'm not really much of a magician yet. You've made quite progress, Pa. I'm sure it will be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure what you did to train yourself, but it worked splendidly. All of those trips in the forest weren't for nothing then. Well, when are we going to do this? We can't afford to wait. So, if there's anything else we need to do, now's the time to do it. I'll be fine. I can't think of anything in there. I think about calling my dad. <laughs> nah, I'll send him the paycheck I got instead. I'll take a moment to think about everything that's happened leading up to this point. My life's taking a turn for the bizarre, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And these two. Well, I think it's obvious how I feel about them now. When we defeat where whatever evil is waiting for us in the basement. I think I'll tell them exactly how I feel about them. What? Am I getting the harm ending? This will give me even more reason to do my best today. Well, if we believe in the power of love, we can overcome this trial. Yeah, love will guide our way. Hmm. For now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen in the achievements the possibility of harm ending. Hmm. Whatever. And we must also believe in each other. Well, I definitely believe in Daiji. I said, as do I. I believe in both you too. Yeah, I pull out my wand. <laughs> it seems to home in my hand. Maybe it's not as my resolve too. Let's take a moment to plan this. Hey, Hikaru should be leading the front. Her spells require her to be up close to the enemy. Daiji should go in the middle so we know he's safe. And I'll be the vanguard and provide plenty of firepower. Like the Doth laser of death. It's not a laser of death. Besides, if I use that, I could probably destroy the entire building. Right. Why does she know such a scary spell anyway? Wouldn't it love manifest itself into something less destructive? <laughs> Actually, never mind. There's plenty of stories where love causes heaps of destruction. So, will we go? Yep, let's do it. I stand by her side. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a shadow in the room. When I turn around to see what it is, there's something there. Taichi? Is something wrong? No, 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 it's nothing. But I swear there was someone else in the room with us. That's absurd for. No one else could possibly know where this place is. Could they? It was Ayame, wasn't it? It seems the darkness of the basement has become as, as thick as ever. I swear that there is some sort of fog down here. Hikar and Yuki do not seem faced by it for. I'm glad we choose to do this now. Just a charging by the atmosphere here is a critical point. Critical point. That's the point where an army of magical guards will be needed to fully suppress the avian gathering here. We have an army? But there will be a lot of collateral damage. So let's do our best to beat it and make sure that doesn't happen. She sounds so casual about it. But since when would the magical girl be anything but optimistic? As we move forward, we stick to our formation. Hikar in front, me in the middle, and Yuki in the back. I hear something moving somewhere around us. Turning back, I see a vine singing its way towards Yuki's leg. Vapor blades! My spell cast the wine makes the threat retreat, retreat into the dark. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Nice catch, Taiji. No problem. As we go to the brain, I can help unless the doorway. What is it about this door that stands out to me? It's almost like something has invited me to open it. What's wrong, Taiji? Do you sense something? It's not. Somewhere feeling as if I shouldn't open the door. Let's get going. Give me another choice. I'll center my back on the door, however. Don't worry. Bye. You won't be alone down here. 
I am. Did you two hear that? Hear what? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe this place is playing tricks with my head. Sorry, the three of us continued to walk into the darkness below. But somehow Ima's voice was reassuring. What the hell? We entered what appears to be some sort of ancient ruin. I have no idea what sort of architecture it's supposed to be, or how old it is. The atmosphere is unnerving, to say the least. But those two stand out against the backdrop of this place like two blazing stars. Ah, uh, now this is a proper ruin. It's been a while since we've seen one of these, is it? Do you do these things pretty regularly? You don't get by as a magical girl without encountering two or three ancient ruins of an evil civilization. This is true, believe me, there's sure a lot of these in the world. And this confirms that I am is definitely not behind this. These places are natural focal points of, for evil energy. It seems like a massive oversight that the resort was built on top of a place like this. That I can tell that I can tell you about much about. Whatever this place is, it looks older than the, res the rest of the resort. Yep, the ancient evil is hiding in here somewhere. Doesn't that concern you at all? Ancient evils are surprisingly common problems that we deal with. This is true! You would be amazed at how often we just find ancient ruins with something nasty hiding in them! But... This one is different, right? A little bit. It's strong, but I'm confident that we can take it on. It's then that we hear things moving through the halls. It looks like we're going to have company soon. I will not have it another way! Agaris one begins to hum with energy. A slime crawls through the hall at us. So is a super slime? In the end? Love! Grant me the power to punish this darkness! With these feelings, I will soar away from this world! She brings down her wand like a hammer, evaporating the slime instantly. Okay, so it was a super slime. And on the other side, a number of creeping vines being emerged from the cracks in the wall. I've got this. The wand of the rock wizard can use any kind of magic. It is potential. And what would be effective against an enemy like this? Windshield! I put a barrier of air, allowing the vines to emerge from their hiding place. Have you got a spell for this? Oh, love! Burn away all the impurities! Let passion and truth be laid bare! Dismiss the evil and allow it to be scattered on the wind! The only thing I can scramble as a heat ray burns out from the tip of her wand. As it touches the wands, a heat wave goes through them, burning it all the way through their wands. What? Are you sure, magical girl? Your spells are terrifying. It was a ray of love! Yeah! Just like the other laser you have. Now is the good time, you two. We have more coming. It's like we've kicked a hornet's nest. I see a practical of slime pouring towards us. Vapor shot. You have to concentrate the magic to a single point and release it. But let's work on the same principle. The propellant forces all of, all of the energy into a single point and releases it. My water bullet punctures through the slime, shielding the hole through the inexplorable inexorable tight. Nice shot, Taiji. That is a fine spell. Thanks, you two. But there's more slime coming. This isn't going to work. I need to seal off that entrance. Ice wall! A massive block of ice solidifies in the entrance, effectively plugging the slime tight. That's not going to last long. So I hope one of you has a spell to do with this. Yeah, probably Yuki has some crazy one again. I might have something. Oh, love! In this darkness, cast the light! Grant us sanctuary from this terrible night! With this offering we make, please protect us and guide us! The two of them focus their magic there, creating a gradually expanding circle. When any of the slime enters, it eminently dissolves. Fortunately, a spell is enough to make them retreat. And a strange silence settles over the area. This actually spell should last long enough for a briefer. But it only works off the weaker ones. It costs us all of energy to cast it in this place. So we should enjoy the quiet while it lasts. Right. 
It seems whatever he uh, is here has noticed us. Yep, I can feel a lot of eagle and making beeline for this spot. This must mean it's close. It must be des desperate. Why wouldn't it be? With my love, any evil being would be afraid. Yeah. Lazy. Yeah, no, I think they would be afraid of you for completely different reasons. You are so rude. I keep telling you that it's powered by love. It could possibly be evil if love itself is powering it. Well, Yuki, it's not something I ever wanted to admit, but your spells. They're kind of scary. Not you too, Hikari. Mind you, the whole mind scrambling spell is terrifying as well. Nasty drives, such things. Exactly, just why I need my love beam. Love laser of death. It's not a death laser. If you're going to give my spell such a bad name, why don't you give Hikari spell a name? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Two. <laughs> Something like scrambled eggs. That's a bit rude. The three of us are sitting here in the lair of an ancient evil. Yet we're all talking like this. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Somehow I feel like everything will be fine. It's become eerily silent since it sent all of those minions at us. I can't but wonder what's going to come next. So, we do have dealt with ancient evils before. What's happening now? Well, it knows that throwing hearts of minions isn't going to work. So the next course of action would either be to throw us, of course, or have a final confrontation with confrontation with us. A final confrontation. Is there anything I should know before we go into this? Well, no, two ancient views are the same, so I don't know if we can tell you anything useful ahead of time. Do your best to analyze the situation, learn any potential weaknesses it has. Right. Is there any significance in this location? We're right next to the ocean. There might be commerce or something connected to this place. Oh, good thinking. Ancient evils are basically a completely evil energy. They tend to take on forms which are suitable for their movement, uh, environments. So, it's going to be some sort of fish monster? Probably. But we can't say for sure. It's a bit of pain that we're basically going in line. Surely we have something more concrete to go on than this. It's then that we hear a rumbling in the darkness. Looks like it's coming this way. Get ready, Taiji. Got it. I still have plenty of energy left. The want of the rock wizard can surely give me victory. As long as I just use it the right way. All of us hold our breath as the rumbling comes closer and closer. A colossal black slime quivers and oozes out of the hallway in front of us. A humanoid form comes out of its body, almost like a person made from oil. So, they have already come. The foolish mortals who have believed they can defeat me. The humanoid face looks arrogant. Tell me, foolish humans, <laughs> what would you do to stop me? Our existence is the down of your race. Empires have risen and fell in what is a mere blink of my eye. But you don't have any eyes. Now why did I say that? Do you not appreciate my metaphor? It ignores me and continues to speak. How do you hope to defeat a being as magnificent and ancient as I? Can you not feel my dark radiance pouring out from this place? It would be best if you just... You can raise a hand. What is the meaning of this gesture? It's to tell you that we are bored of listening to you already. I swear this is the fifth ancient evil we've met, and all of them have some stupid speech lined up for it. And you concerned with the repercussions of angering a being such as myself? The parents just look less amused than before. You aren't original in the slightest. If you want someone to take you seriously, maybe you should act less super villain, like a super villain. Then it was time when Wen rubbed my feet and begged to hear me speak their gutural tongue. How long ago was that exactly? You have to change with times, you know. Is no one here taking this seriously? I mean nothing but serious. The fault lies with you and your friends. It is amusing, but I have a little patience for fools and jesters. It holds out a hand and spooling orb of black mist forms in it. You were all a lip uh, you were all a bit more amusing than the last group of priests who came for me. 
But do not think that I will spare any of you. Same goes to you. We'll use the powerful of destroying any trace of you. Human emotion is no match for the power of the night. As the thing focuses its attention to me, I feel slightly unnerved. I will not let you escape. Once we've gathered enough energy, I'll bring about the end of everything you've ever known. The stars are right. Look for you, the stars are right, and this is your greatest moment in Aeons or whatever. But for us, it's just another day at work. You'll pay for your insolence. It launches the first time. The swing corp in his hand flies straight for me. I just show the first thing which pops my head. Mirror! A reflect wall forms in the protocol's way deflecting it. It curves in the wall and detonates, leaving a perfect shape holding the wall. Vapor Shirt! I take the first offensive attack. A petty spell! He doesn't even try to move out of the way. The water bullet simply plunges through his body and holds no damage at all. Damn it. It's just like a slime, but on a bigger scale. We're going to need more firepower if we want to hurt him. Give you key a clip shot! Do you think I cannot hear you? And the two orbs are launched at us. Yuki swats one of them out of the way with her wand, causing it to ricochet back and then steal you. Ikari seems to nify the other with her magic. The orb doesn't detonate on contact with Ivyu, it just gets absorbed back in grid. My turban is formed of this energy. It will do nothing you try to hurt me with it. Sounds like you're all fully confident about that. Be confident about this. Love, grant me your power. Enable me to burn away the sorrows that soil this beautiful world. Everyone is coming again. Wait, she's going to use that. Anything but that. Tell the laser of death shots out of her wand. Hmm? The impact unleashes a massive wave force, making the evil humanic body lose its shape. He's dazed. Strike now! He can share the scene with her wand. It's her energy hammer attack. But the slime suddenly pulls itself back together. Powerful spell, but not strong enough. It launches another orb. Hikari! It's a direct hit on her. The force of it launches her back. Damn! That hurt a bit. Most lesser beings would no longer exist after such an attack. But you are hardly like the priest who sealed me long ago. Nope, we aren't like them. We're going to outdo them by destroying you. Foolish pride. I need to think of a spell. His form is liquid, so it's not going to take any damage as we work out a weak point. Wait. Vapor shot. They shoot again, but this time I use it like an industrial water cutter. I'm part of the abyss deep within the sea. Water will not harm me. It does not move and simply allows my spell to hit it. My vapor shot down penetrated through its inclined body. Yet you continue to fire. You are just wasting your energy. Am I really? <laughs> I can control the water I'm shooting perfectly. Including its temperature. Flesh. Freeze! After pumping its body full of water, I suddenly drop the temperature. A thick layer of ice begins to emerge around it. So, so cold! Although it resists it to some degree, it slowly. its body slowly solidifies. Hit it now, Hikari. Love grants me the might to raise this misery! Punish it into memory! Her energy hammer spell is fully charged. She brings down in an over racing smash. The evil shatters into pieces. A good hit? That was a great idea, Taiji. Yeah, yeah. This is the deciding moment! But our salvation is short lived. The shattered piece of the horror begins to defrost. It returns to its liquid form. Keep hitting it! But it's too late. It's already deformed into its original mass. It was rather painful. I must commend you for being able to land such a hit on me. However, I will not be destroyed by something like that. Damn. It simply has too much energy to spare. It's become a battle of attrition. It's regenerative ability versus our ability to destroy it. I'm going to try something else. Do you think I will allow that? It shoots globes of its body out. They move like miniature slimes crawling towards us really fast. One of them wraps itself around my leg. Damn! Vapor. The other one wraps itself around my arm. It tries to rest the wand for me, but my grip is too tight. Instead, it settles for completely smothering my arm. Taiji! Hold on, we'll get us of you! Will you now? The game begins to shoot more shadows orbs, holding these two at bay. 
they had focused on evading its attacks. We just did not believe Taichi! Hold on until then! The slimes attached to me being too dragged towards its mind mass. Even with the power of magic, you cannot hope to be a best me. Why not simply give up? Like hell I'm going to let something like you ruin the world. Just you wait. The freaking words of a helpless fool. Dear bittersweet. I won't be walked on by the likes of you. I got the chance to change the course of my life. There is no way I'm going to waste it by dying here. I refuse, even if I have to, have to defy fate itself. I refuse. Ah, oh, is that how it is? Boy! Eh? Someone else has come here! Out of the darkness shrines, the last person who I expected to see. Hi, Emma! What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just out for an evening stroll. And I just so happened to that I felt like going through the basement. So, we have another fool come to join this macabre party. But no matter, its slimes are still dragging me along helplessly. Well then, boy. I would say that you owe me a favor when this is over. She makes a few gestures with her hands. And then slimes that are holding me down shrivel into dark vapor. They're gone? The evil seems to recall from one. What sorcery is this? Negative karma manipulation. Remember it well. With my arm freed, I am at the point my wand at it. Ha! Light lance. A powerful blast comes from my wand. It actually punctures through the horror's body. Emma steps continue to fry. Those who wander the night know that I'm your master. Yell to my will. Let the river flow in new direction. I'm siphoning its energy. The odds should be a little more even now. You, you insult. The horror seems to quiver with anger. You, you would dare steal my power from me? Of course I would dare. What are you going to do about it? It launched an hour, but it's not split smaller than the last one. Mirror! I flicked away from Irma. I cannot do this forever, but I'm sure this will grant you the opportunity you need, Taiji. I am. I knew that you still had a heart! Be silent! I'm not here for you! I'm here for him! He said that Irma looks at me. Things are fine the way they are, so don't spoil it by dying. I just smiled at her. Hikar is not wrong, you do have a card. Oh, I don't need to hear that from you too! Hurry up and end this! Then the three of us gather together. The eldritch horror forms a gaping mouth. In its death, a purple light can be seen. It's now or never. Poor everything we've got into this, Tachi! Will do. A massive glass of energy comes from its mouth. All three of us fire at the same time. I'll not be destroyed by former mortals. My destiny is to rule this world. To consume it and bring darkness to night sky. Can you hold yourself against the wave of such fate? Oh, just shut up already. Same old, same old. The evil's power begins to wave. By eight by bit. But we overwhelm it with our combined magic. Just a day at work, hey? Yep. That's right. Just another day at work. Don't you dare look down on me! Even if you beat me here, I will return! Actually, you won't. Back in the day, the kids were less for all. We clean house when we do our job. So long, Mr. Ancient Ivy Evil. No, no, I won't! Before it can finish speaking, our combined magic obliterates it. As it dissolves in the light, some strange fun and hole echoes through the hallways. A threat and uneasy calm settles in the area. All of us look pretty tired. I am a service the aftermath. Why do ancient evils always have such delusions of grandeur? Aren't they supposed to be, you know, world ending threat? They're strong, but has one of them succeeded in destroying the world yet? If they have, I wouldn't have no uh, I wouldn't know about it. Both of you did great out there by the way. We couldn't have done it without it. Yet, yep, you're going to be amazing magician. Thank you. I then look at Aime. You do, Aime. If you didn't turn up then, I don't know what would have happened. You do not need to thank me. This is simply for my own enjoyment. I do not want an Eldritch Horror destroying the world just yet. You really can't be honest with your feelings, can you? Whatever could you mean? You came here to help us. I know that you are a bad person. 
As much as dry fly did. You can hear his smile here. Thanks, Ayame. Thank you. I don't need your fames. She points her nose into the air. This simply for my own sake. Your own sake, hey. Oh, stop it already. She walks up to me. You did well, boy. I suppose I can give you a reward. What sort of? She grabs my hand and gives me a kiss. Her tongue is forced into my mouth. Hey, what are you doing? Hands off me! She pulls her tongue out and gives them a haughty smile. Hey, he's mine now. What are you going to do about it? She pulls away from me and begins walking away. You'll be my pet yet, boy. Once I train you right. Uh, just when I thought she was turning over a new leaf. Don't think we forgive you for this, Ayame! I don't need your forgiveness. Just show me that you can compete with me. With that, she disappears into the shadows. Well, I think it's time to get back up. <laughs> yep, no reason to stay around. There's still some excess evil around the resort. But I'm sure we can handle it. Definitely. But even look, the stars are not right. Okay, we should we should check out what's going further. I think. But if not, I will just cut it into a few episodes. By the time we emerge out of the basement, night has settled over the resort. I sure am glad that we aren't in the basement anymore. We emerge on the beach just adjacent to the hotel. The moonlight reflects gently on the roiling waves. All in all, it feels like I've spent a hard day at work. I think I need a break. Good thing that we are at the resort then. Indeed! I'm sure our employer will allow us a day or two off. Fighting they should use his hard work after all. No, sir, I'm telling them what's on my mind. Hey, you two. I have something I need to tell you both. Yes, Taiji. You can tell me anything you want to. Well, the thing is, I really like you both. It shows that I've been getting along with you two. But I like you more than co-workers or friends. Well, of course I like you too. In the romantic sense. Same here. We don't deny or try to hide our feelings, Taiji. We're magical girls, after all. Love is our strength. With the power of love. We can do anything. I yeah, including brainwashing and love lasers of death. Like I said, anything. Well, if you both like me, uh, I'm, aren't you concerned with, you know... With what exactly? Just be blunt about Daichi. With the fact that both of you like me, surely one, only one of you can... Oh, not at all. We'll just show you! Oh, fuck. I think I had looked, uh, you know... Um... Uh, Arm ending. <laughs> we already kind of like each other too, so... What? Seriously? Yeah! You don't mind, do you? <laughs> it's obvious what any heterosexual man would say about this. Not at all! <laughs> Good. And what about Ayame? She's not invited! What he car said? Ouch! Oh well. You did great out there, you. So did you, Hikari. They slowly move closer to each other. Right in front of me, the two of them lock lips. I can see their tongues moving around in their mouths. The wet noise are going through the area sends hand jolts through my heart. Mm. They pull away from each other. It's been so long since we've had a good kiss. Why don't we enjoy something else with each other too? What do you mean? I see Yuki's hands slipping down he cars back. She gently pushes the way. What? Not yet. Not yet, not yet. I just stand there and watch the whole time. Their chest press against her, others softly practically enveloping the both of them. Part of me wonders what it would feel like to be in between their huge boosts. Damn that thought is really certain they called. As they come to passion the keys one another, I can see their faces becoming flashed. 
It seems that all of my good luck has been spent in only a few weeks. I have a car, two, no, three amazing girls in my life. And I don't see ever have to work as a cleaner again. Overall, I would say that I'm looking for what the future is holding now. Especially with these three. I'm still denying it. But I'm sure that she feels something for me too. Say, Taiji, why don't you come over here for a few minutes? Yeah, we could use some more company. Why don't you help us warm up on this cold night? It's not cold, but I'm not dumb enough to point it out. Sure. Well, who knows what's going to happen next? Maybe there is a new threat. Yes, finally! Finally, that word was spoken correctly. I mean, normally it would be treat, but finally the threat was threat, just on the horizon. But whatever it is, I'm sure that all of us together will be able to overcome it. Just another day for right? Who the hell are you? What? Somewhere distance, a girl looks down the resort. Uh, it looks like I was too late to party! But the heavens are already been beaten! That's so boring! If much of the mayhem that could have happened if it actually hit this big, this is very boring! You would think that an endless horror from the ocean's depths would be more than just talk. She paused herself. She has a nice booty. How am I going to explain this to you now? Hmm. I've already come to this way. I could just go back home, but there is a family name. Where is the family dead? My patient is still in a field with trouble myself. She is stopping her wound to her chin. There's plenty of evil, she's still in the air. And we're going to have the horror massacre in the after all that. This moment is just passing with possibilities. Yeah, now is the perfect time to strike. And if it's not, it forms our face. Underneath her feet, something quivers. Yeah, yeah, I know your patient. Just give it time. We'll find a plenty of girls to have some fun with. <gasps> How dare you! They would know that what hit him. How dare you! How dare you! Alright, so I have a few pictures left to unload. Uh, but honestly, we have three pictures left. And it was a harriment. It definitely was a harriment. It wasn't. Okay, so. Some... Oh, God damn it. Sakura Magical Girls Endings. How many endings are there? Uh, okay, so. Supposedly there is one hero. Okay, so you un you can unlock the CGs, but there is no roots. Is that how it is? Technically, uh, the ending here can actually. It's actually pretty decent because we can get the feeling that maybe there will be Sakura Magical Girls too, right? Uh, and so on. Alright, you know what? I think there's only one ending in the end, which is what we had. If it is how it is, then in the next one actually we'll have Sakura Magical Girls. But we'll just uh, concentrate on unlocking the rest of CGs. And that's all that will be. Uh, if not, also there will be scenes actually that we haven't seen, so that's something. Uh, anywho, for now, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.